Hello all, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And in today's demo, we are going to see how we can analyze fraudulent call with Azure Stream Analytics. And this is real-time fraud detection using Azure services. In this scenario, we are going to leverage a client tool which will generate or simulate all the mobile phone call data. It is going to send call data into Azure Event Hub. Then we are going to plug in Stream Analytics with Event Hub and check that one that if this calls is fraudulent or seems fraudulent, right? And then whatever, if we detect that one, we are going to save into blob storage so that people can be notified, people can get the SMS about this activity or some call center people will call them to check that one what is happening over there. So in this demo, we are going to create Azure Event Hub. We are going to generate sample phone call using data and send event hub. We are going to create a stream analytics job. We are going to configure the job on input and output. We are going to define queries to filter fraudulent calls. And then we are going to test and start job. And this job is going to save into blog for further sending alert or calling to consumer ATC, right? What is the potential other use cases of this scenario, right? Detecting fraudulent mobile phone calls, which one scenario we are talking about. Then identifying fraudulent credit card transaction for bank, right? Similar activity can be done for that kind of scenario also. Or identify fraudulent purchase in retail or e-commerce scenario, right? Because same similar logic can be written for that purpose also. So we will see that how we are going to detect one of the scenario, and then we can uh, see that we if that can be leveraged into another scenario also or not. So let's go into Azure Demo Portal and start the demo. So for this demo, we are into Azure Portal and in our subscription. We have already a blob account, blob account creation. If you want to learn, we have a lot of videos on this channel. I have also downloaded one client tool, Telco Generator, and you can find from Microsoft's website, this tool, where we have to provide the details uh, uh, like event hub and connection string so that it can send the details and generate the call related data. So let's go and create the event hub first. Let's go and click on create for creation of event hub. We can search from here or we can go into integration tab and we can see event hubs. We can search that. Let's create on that. So before going to create, if we will read that one, uh, we can log millions of events per second in near real time. Connect devices using flexible authorization and throttling. Use real, uh, use time-based event buffering. All these things we can do. Let's click that, and or we can go. Let's go for basic one. Uh, then we can go. Okay, it will be accessed by public endpoint, not private endpoints right now. Let me create this one. Till the time it is happening. We can go ahead and try to create a stream analytics also. So we can go and create a stream analytics job. Let me so a stream analytics job job is a Azure stream analytics a fully managed and cost effective real time event processing engine. So let's go ahead and create that. Okay, rest I'm going to keep same. We do not need three streaming unit we can do for one right now let me create this one so our previous resource event hub was created and this one is also got created so let me go now in inside event name spaces we need to create one event hub so let me create that one tell code demo i can give that Partition count, we can have one or two, uh, depending upon whatever required, or maximum also we can have that. I'm going to keep whatever default is there. Let me really say it. Now it is active, so it is ready for that. And if we go inside our RG, and we can see that our stream analytics job is also created right now. So we can see all the details. 
and if we go into it input section we can go and add a stream input and there are a couple of scenario we can have input from event hub iot and blob storage we can have reference input if you want to enrich the data with some metadata and other things we can have reference one for this demo i'm going to event hub and we can give the alias and we can give the alias depending upon what we want to do suppose this is our call string data right so we can give that name and we can provide manually also and we can have use that de default from subscription so go ahead all the default settings and then uh, this is the encoding and other things let me save that now it is adding it can take some time we can go into output section and in output section also we have multiple things where we can send our output for this demo we are going to use blob blob one so let's see we can put some name over here okay image of my output and we can select this storage here the new container for this demo identity and Automatization output. We can have CSV also, JSON also. So let me the default one. Now our input and output is connected. Now we can go back into our demo RG. We can have the grab this our is this one i so this i can generate based on policy so for that telco we need only end one right so i can go ahead and say that give a name i can say that generate a key for sending that messages generate a key for me and then i can go and i can take this key or connection string let with her and I go and this is that interior key. It is key only to just so I grab the key and I can give the key. And what is our event hub name? So let me go and grab our event. This is our telco demo event hub name. So this is what we have right now, and let's Start this one. If we go and try to run this telco demo, it says that you have to uh, give the numbers of city or call detail records per hour and probability. What is the probability for uh, generating a sim uh, fraud uh, probability and duration of hour? So I'm going to give these details a thousand one and let's see what it says. So it says that this is not my connection proper connection string so it seems that we have to give the proper connection string so let's grab that connection string one more time and let's see <coughs> that and now we can see that same thing now it is starting uh, it is sending and if we see that message has germany from where it is sending that activity and other things we can go ahead now and in this event hub let's go to our event hub and see that message is started coming or not if we see uh, right now uh, this called and partisan count two consumer group is one all this is started coming so so something has started request here you can see sometimes so if we go into right now into our Stream analytics. Let's go into stream analytics and we can go and inside query going to just so very basic query we can write into that reference that uh, select a star from call stream. We can see that whatever input preview is coming, right? We can go ahead and see that. <coughs> And we can see that all the record type is coming, identity is coming, file number, switch number, calling number, calling IMSI number, called number, called IMSI another. This is that uh, uh, data is being sent to using that tool. This tool is sending. So this is the data is coming into our event hub. Event hub we have connected with the stream analytics. So we can see this one. We can enhance this query and we can uh, say that 
uh, similar to if we want to see that one only few columns, uh, we can only select few columns and then we can run. So let's see that. So now we can see that uh, that this is the um, switch number in China, UK, Australia, all this place is coming. And this is the call number and other details are coming. We have few time windows function, a uh, tumbling window and other things inside this uh, tool where we can go and see that, uh, use this one to detect uh, this one that, okay, what is happening into this tumbling window of five seconds. So it can run. Let's see that. So this is what right now we can see that uh, using tumbling window, this is how the, we can do the grouping in other things. Now enhancing this tumbling window and grouping activity, we can use inside that our with another self joining query. And in the self joining, what we are saying that one, that call stream is our input and the same is uh, CS1 alias is C1 and call stream second alias. And we are doing the time present by call record time. And we are doing based on self joining based on calling IMSI number, right? And we are thinking that if same ISI number is India, it should not present inside different region or different country. And we are doing this one based on the date different inside seconds and both seconds should be inside one and five, uh, right? So that is the different we are saying. And where switch one is not equals switch 10, means that same region should not be there by the grouping by the tumbling windows. So this is that one scenario we are doing, right? So if we see that, then we can find that on it seems that okay something is there yeah uh, which is a uh, fraudulent calls and other things if grouping equals two is coming it seems that okay something is there we can go and look into that details so this is one way to look into that and now we can go ahead and we can take more details let's see <coughs> we can download the record and see the more details if you wanted to see that all these details will come inside uh, in JSON. Let's see that one if we want to see more thing, right? So what is the IMSI number we can put over here? So now we can get this MSI number and other things also. Yes. Go ahead. That calling IMSI. So, if we see this one, same IMSI number is using from UK and same is from China, right? It is the problem, right? It is calling different numbers using same method. How that it can be possible in the same time window. If we go into the date difference and other thing, date time window, uh, this is the same date time window, today's date time. And uh, that is what the problem seems, right? That is how it is called, uh, called record time is that uh, in that seconds of the different, right? Event processing time and seconds are different. So that is how this, uh, this is able to detect for this uh, piece of IMSI that it is generating the fraudulent call. And now that we can figure out that who is using our this IMSI number, using our reference data, which we can use the reference data from this uh, stream analytics and we can get the details, we can generate all this and we can do. So let's save this uh, query. And now we can go and run this output. So now we are saved that one. So let's go and start this job right now if we go into overview and right now it is created we have query if we go into create query we have query and once we go that uh, we have call input output output we have configured right now we have not used any function we can start this job and when we start this job we can say what is the streaming in unit another thing it is going to say when we are going to start this one once we start this then let's see in some time it will take some time to start this stream analytics job and now it is going to process whatever data is going to come it is going to process and then it is going to store into output 
and we will see once it is going to start then we will see that how it is going to work so now we see that uh, it is just successfully started streaming job in it is running right now and if we go into output section this was the output where let's me see that the output that storage account was which blob let's go into our rg where we have the software blob and we can go into a storage browser and we can go inside blob container we say that this is the telco job was created now we can go inside uh, one json it found out and we can see that once we download this json uh, and open that one we can see that it is writing and we said that it is append based only so it is writing that fraudulent code call call was two this was five and we can filter based on greater than one and other things we can filter that one and then figure out okay if the greater than one is there and let's update that uh, we can update this query back we will go ahead and say that so we have to stop for query that we can stop this one Better this stop, then we can update this query. So it is update, uh, and we can now say that. So we want to have only those record where it is uh, greater than one, right? So let's see that. So this is right now. This call is coming. If you want to test, we can go ahead and this is the previous details of the different one. That is how it is generating. So we can save this and we can go ahead and let me delete this JSON. And we said that this is append only. So this is going to append all this into same file. That is why I'm deleting that one so that we can see that now it is going to come or not. So let me start one more time this job. It is says that one more option, but yeah. Uh, from where it is uh, start and stop so because the stream was processed and it had checkpoint and other details so it is starting from that place so let's start from that it now it is starting till that time if we see our telco generator app is sending the event and if we go into our event hub it let's go into our event hub image passage and event hub we can see that uh, details right all the details how many records is message is coming so right now 7.17k message is coming and we have outgoing message 6.646 uh, so till now it had generated around 8000 records right in the same time and we can we we have given the option also right now this job is started it is running and if we go inside one more time to our blog let me if you go into telco inside now it is generating and appending this one if we go and wanted to see the, if we edit this one we can see here also with not need to download so here we can see that whatever record are coming which are seems that fraudulent calls and other things and this is what this data can be leveraged from other sources like uh, uh, other application can read this one send the notification or consumers uh, can be notified or they can uh, raise that okay it is the same or what is the details they can go into deep down analysis and find out the details in other so this is what i wanted to do in this demo hopefully you will like this real-time analytics thank you mm -hmm.